But first, for today's appeal, we start right here on the outskirts of Lisburn, where the Air Ambulance Service launches every day to provide emergency medical care for people like you and me. This is Helimed 23. It can reach anywhere in Northern Ireland within 25 minutes, providing rapid medical assistance. And in the three years since it launched, it definitely has been a lifesaver. Hi, Phil. Hi, Dave. Dave, uh, this is a Hems called a clocky on the Arch Peninsula. It's just uh, southwest of Port of Ogie. It looks like a caravan park and a 40-year-old male has been hit by some sort of tractor or digger there. We're still getting details, so I'll give you an update on the way. Are okay, okay, guys? I'll receive, Phil. Thank you, yeah. 22 miles east of here. Weather's looking good. Everyone happy to go? Yeah. Okay, Thank I'll you. see you at the aircraft. There's a huge amount of talent and skill with the team. There is, there's 15 consultants that work for us along with eight paramedics. The team together train every day to make sure that what we do here on the ground, then we will deliver that same level of care with the patient. In partnership with the ambulance service, the helicopter team operates seven days a week from seven in the morning until seven at night. So if you're in involved in an accident and have serious injuries, there might be certain critical care interventions that you need. You might need advanced painkillers, you might need an anaesthetic to protect your brain, you might need uh, some minor surgical procedures to um, relieve pressure on your chest from injuries. Previously you'd have had to wait to hospital for those, but we can bring those right to the roadside early in that injury journey and improve your chances of surviving to hospital and beyond. I was going down the lane in the quad when I collided with my mum's jeep on a blind corner. There was nothing either of us could have done. Luckily the air ambulance came out to me and saved my life. My car collided with a lorry. I remember just really hoping that I would open my eyes again. Um, I suffered a lot of injuries um, to my leg and to my spine um, and would have died if it hadn't have been for the air ambulance. I owe them my life. Okay, so welcome to our HEMS Air Ambulance. As you can see, there's not much space here, but all this equipment is used. Uh, you'll find us in the emergency department. This is what we bring to the roadside. Here we have our ultrasound machine. This is used to check for lung slides, to check for any internal bleeding, so as to see if the patient's lungs are up. And this is our ventilator, so if we perform a pre-hospital anaesthetic, this is the machine we use to breathe, help the patient breathe. And this is our monitor, uh, this is our just standard for pulse rates, for blood pressures, oxygen levels, carbon dioxide levels. All this equipment uh, we bring to the scene and it is always quite a lot of kit that this enables us to save people's lives. One day you just never know, you or I, a friend, a family member, a loved one, they could be the casualty getting that life-saving treatment from the team. I was out shopping when myself and my friend were knocked down by a runaway car. It was such a freak accident but thankfully the Air Ambulance were there to support us on the day. I am eternally grateful to the Air Ambulance for what they do for me and what they've done for others. I remember my husband carrying Ben down the yard that day. Ben was unconscious and there was a lot of blood. The Air Ambulance arrived very quickly and we would just like to say thank you to the Air Ambulance for everything they've done for our family. I would like to say thank you too, to the Air Ambulance too. In the HEMS role we fly with a crew of three, so one pilot, one paramedic and one doctor in the rear cabin and we carry a fuel load which gives us an endurance of approximately one hour and 45 minutes. At the forefront of my mind I'm thinking about the landing site, what's going to be the most suitable. My aim is to get the medical team as close to the casualty as possible and if we're conveying a casualty that they don't have too far then to bring the casualty to the aircraft. You might feel a little bit lightheaded with it. Yeah. If we're just going to slide into Each the aircraft... Each tasking we go to is going to have its own set of challenges that, that we will really have to deal with dynamically when we arrive at the scene. But keeping this helicopter ready to fly and another as a backup is an expensive business. Kerry, what are we talking about every year? It's a big figure, Vinnie. It's two million pounds that needs to be raised by the public to keep our ambulance able to fly and help save lives every single year. 
Our supporters are brilliant. Some choose to give a little by direct debit every single month. Others organise brilliant fundraising events, everything from coffee mornings and sponsored walks, and others choose to leave a gift within their will. This is your service. Without your support, this service would not operate. We are grateful for the huge support that has been shown to us so far from right across the community. We, we, we need that support to continue in order to keep delivering this special care and saving lives.